Hey, welcome back! You've already learned a lot and I'm really excited about your progress in this course. Now, this video will be a shorter one and will tell you how this course is structured and how to approach it to get the best results out of it. Now, first of all, we have an introduction section that you've already gone through and this lecture, the fourth, is the one that you are seeing right now. And after that, we are only going to implement our own games. Now, in general, I would recommend that you watch the videos one by one and go through each of these sections one by one because the games are increasingly difficult up to the point where you'll spend quite a couple of hours actually on the last game on Pac-Man. So let me go through each of these games in turn. The first game is Pong. This is a pretty simple game, but it's a lot of fun and it will already allow you to play with your friends. Then we will draw and paint. We will create a painting application that will allow you to draw anything you want with any color you want in Scratch. Then we'll dive into a bigger game in the form of shooting the monster. And then we will implement our own clone of Flappy Bird, which was an online sensation. And we will learn about gravity and all sorts of fun stuff in this section. And finally, we'll dive into Pac-Man, one of the most loved games of all time. And you will be able to implement your own version with intelligent enemies that will try and get you with their own programming, so not controlled by anyone else. Now notice that every single one of the sections in this course has a starter project in the form of a zip file and a finished project in the form of a zip file which contains everything that we write during the course. Now at the beginning of each chapter I will invite you to download the starter projects in the form of a zip file. For example, if I want you to download the Flappy Bird project, just click on this file and download it to your computer. And then navigate to where you downloaded the file and either right click and unzip this file or simply double click on it on most computers. And this will result in a file which has an extension SB3 and you will be able to use this file to import into Scratch. No matter what project you are in, if you click on file and then load from your computer and then click on the file that you downloaded from the Udemy course, you can click on open and this will create a new Scratch project with the sprites that I already created for you for that particular game. In the same style, if you want to import the finished project, you can do it in the exactly the same way. And the finished project will also contain all the code that we write during the course. Now, there's one more thing that I'd like to teach you. In case you get stuck or have any questions or have a bug in your program or in your code, use the course Q&A. So go up top here and use the Q&A section, the questions and answers, and click on this red button, ask a new question. For example, my flappy bird isn't flying when I hit the green flag. And then go ahead and describe your problem here like, Hi Daniel, when I hit the flag, my flappy bird falls to the ground. What can I do? So describe your problem and what you are trying to do. Now, along with the question, I would like you to add a link to your project so I can take a look inside it and see what's wrong and give you a hint for a fix. So, in order to do that, I would like you to click this orange share button in the project that you would like me to take a look at and then copy the link to the project and paste it here in your question so that I can look into your project, see what's wrong and tell you how to fix it. All right, so all that said, I will leave you to the next game. And I hope you have as much fun playing at this course as I had creating it.